I just I like guarding Travis. I don't want to say it's hard, but I like guarding him because I know he the, he our best receiver. He's one of the best receivers in the nation in the conference. So every day I get to come out and you know go against him, compete against him. What makes Travis so good one on one when you're going up against him? Yeah, his his routes. He's great with his routes. He's gotten a lot smarter. He's watched a lot of films, so you know he runs his routes off leverage and all that. So he you can tell he's matured a lot. And we come out just like today. It was really intense. Started in one on ones. He beat me over the top a couple times. He didn't catch the ball, but he beat me. He got on top of me, and you know, I was I was kind of upset, but it was, it's cool. You have a lot of young guys in the secondary yeah. in this year, in their first or first year practices. What were your thoughts on how, how they kind of? They acclimated? came out ready to work. They came out ready to work today. Whether it was in one on ones, they took coaching. That's the one thing too. They took they take coaching really really well. They want to learn. They want to learn from me and Derwin and all the guys that that's ahead of them, upper class, and they want to learn. So that's really it's they're they're uh it's really them. I guess their maturity and them, you know, evolving I guess, is really important to the secondary so we can have depth. Is it different for you this year? Last year, kind of fighting for that other starting spot, and this year being that leader of the defensive backs? Like I said, I feel like every day I got to come out and fight for my spot. So I'm not even in, I'm not really complacent. I'm not happy where I'm at. So, uh, I mean, just coming out vocal, I, I, I could tell I was a lot more vocal today than I normally am. So that was excited. I was excited about that too. I so feel like that came head. naturally for you, or did you, have to, did you have to think about doing that? And about what? To be more vocal? Yeah, definitely not natural being vocal. I'm more the guy to kind of pull the guy to the side. They they struggling, not really, you know, want to be in front of the whole team and talking. But uh, the day it felt good just being on the defense. And I have some of the guys that was here last year. Uh, I got to be that guy in a way. Could you, in a way, learn some of that from from Jalen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, I mean, he talked too. But he wasn't. I don't know if, he was a vocal leader, but he 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 he, he showed his in other ways. I mean, I know I look. Uh, Demarcus is a great guy. But, you know kind of replicate or whatever. So learn a little bit from him when it comes to being vocal. Can you tell a difference in maybe the tempo of practice and how things go when you have as many veterans as this team has? It went good. Like Jimbo said, we started, we got to get in, got to get in shape just with me. I know I ran every day, almost every day last week, and it was still, couldn't really simulate, you know, the, the periods of changes and the, and the reps. But uh, it got better, practice got better for me as, as the day went on. What have you seen out of guys on the other side of the other corner position? Uh, they came ready. We work together. That's one thing we do. We work together. If they see somebody run, if I run a deep ball, they anxious to get in, want to come. So we, we definitely work together. And they, they did. They had a good day today, both of them. You kind of take it on yourself to bring them on a little bit or show yeah. them the ropes or what have you? Yeah, I know they I know they look up to me in a way. And I know they kind of, you know, want to not be like me, but want to be a, be alongside of me at the other, you know, other starting position. And they know they got a battle. They know what they got to do. And at the end of the day, we all know that we all capable of playing, being great players, being great corners here. So just gotta, they just got to buy into it. Is there still an excitement level for first practice? I was so excited. I didn't even sleep last night. And I tried to go home after the meeting today and take a nap. I couldn't take a nap. So I was really excited to just be back out here, man. That's why I came back to Florida State.